How excited are you? Get this thing started. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's one of those deals where you, you start and you have this anticipation and you're ready and it's finally here. And, um, you know, I'm more excited for our guys, right? Just, to, you know, we've had a long fall, a uh, long spring leading up to this point. It's gotten here uh, as fast as I told them that it was going to get here. And so I'm, I'm really excited for them to go out and, you know, have some new energy. You know, we're trying to get this new culture in place. So uh, to see them go out and, you know, new field, all these new additions that we got going on. So I'm really excited for them. Now that you've had this time with your roster, bringing in the new guys, returners, just how are you feeling about how they're, they're meshing as a, as a team? Uh, we mesh really, really well, right? Uh, you know, from day one, you know, when you look at it, we had 19 returners and 19 newcomers. Uh, so when you have a clubhouse that is that divided initially, the fact that they came together and they bonded as well as they did was phenomenal. Um, you know, when you when you talk about what we're going to do on the field, we're a talented group, um, but this is going to be a this is going to be a process, right? It, it's not we're not just going to jump out here on day one and and come and shock the world. It's it's going to be we're going to be building and putting ourselves in a position where we're looking to play our best baseball come conference tournament time. Um, and I think we have the capability of of having a quality year, but the, there's going to be a process involved. So um, I've kind of stressed that to our guys and let them know that as well that hey, we're looking to try and build this thing. And so how do you kind of get that point across that that as you're building, there there may be some roadblocks as, as you continue to build throughout the season? I think the first thing was telling them from day one, if there's anybody that should be concerned about wins and losses, it's me. Um, and if I'm not concerned about it, don't you be concerned about it, that I'm more concerned about the process. Are we getting better every day? Are we putting ourselves in a position that, again, once we get to the co conference tournament, we're playing the best that we can possibly play? So being able to keep that in mind, which will be tough, right? Kids want to average. They want to know all the things that are beneficial to them. So trying to be able to keep them focused on the idea of what the process is and not worry about what the end goal is, I think we'll have to do that all year long and just kind of, Rain them back in every once in a while. I'm like, hey, that's good, but make sure you understand what we're trying to get accomplished here. Coach, uh, welcome to Memphis. And um, I know we're halfway through Black History Month, but what does it mean to you to be the first African American head coach of um, this program? It's a big deal, right? I think that, you know, when you talk about uh, the fact, as I talked about in my press conference at the beginning back in the in the summer, when you're still talking about the first, and here we are in 2023, it's sad that we're doing that, but at some point it has to be done. Um, so if I have to be that first one here and, and create some more other opportunities and, and show as black coaches in baseball what we're capable of doing, I gladly take that challenge um, all day, every day. And, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to being able to hopefully be an inspiration to people in the community, get more people involved in baseball, get more kids, young black kids that want to play the game, let them know that there's opportunities out here for them. Um, so it's, it's a great honor. Have you had a lot of African-American players, and I know the numbers are down, need to go up, but have, have a lot of them contacted you? Without a doubt. Without a doubt, I think that when you when you look at what I've been fortunate and blessed enough to be able to do professionally in my career and bringing that resume here and now being at a place that there's resources, you're in a quality conference, you're in a destination city with good weather. I don't think you could ask for much more than that. And so I think those kids see that opportunity and saying, hey, not only do I have an opportunity to play baseball at a high level, but I have an opportunity to play baseball at a high level and be coached by someone who looks like me someone who is making the decisions that look like me. And that's no disrespect to any non-black coaches, but that it's just different. You know, I grew up in that same era where I was one of two black kids on the team. And, you know, we, we kind of bonded together and we're in those environments and you have to assimilate there. And, you know, this is an, an opportunity for these kids to come in and know they get to be unapologetically them. Um, and they're, they're, you know, as I've told some of the parents, if your son's not playing, not because he's black, he, he can't play. He can't help us win. So that question immediately gets thrown out when you put yourselves in those types of situations. Now, when you had the initial hire, obviously that came with a slew of emotions in itself. But as you get closer and closer to having that opening day as uh, the first black coach in, in program history, does that come with a, a, a different magnitude of emotions knowing that the season is about to open with, with, with that historic moment on the line? You know what? It comes with, I believe, a weight of responsibility of understanding what it is that I'm representing, right? Uh, unfortunately, we're still in that environment in our society where you are judged by what you do or what you don't do. Um, and so for me, it's 
I constantly think if I'm not successful, do I ruin the opportunity for somebody else? And if I am successful, do I create an opportunity for someone else? So for me, when it comes to the magnitude of, of what's taking place, that's how I look at it. And then when you boil it down to, at the end of the day, it's baseball and coaching these kids up and getting our kids in the right position. So I'm able to kind of separate those two things and make sure that the main thing stays the main thing. And the main thing is making sure that we're putting this program in a position to be one of the best programs in the country. Your arrival here kind of came in the same perfect timing of, of getting the new stadium, the new turf field, the renovations. I noticed that the dimensions are different uh, this year. Did you have any input on the dimensions of the field and to the style of baseball you want to play? No, I was fortunate that it that it was bigger. As you said, you know, I played here uh, or coached here, and when it was 317 down the line, right. and um, and even though it was short down the lines, it didn't necessarily always play small. But when they showed me the plans, it was already done, and it fit to my style and what we're going to do as a team. We're going to run, right? We're going to have athletic kids. Um, so when you're dealing with a regular dimension of a field with big gaps, deep to center, turf, um, you know, surface, it plays really well into what it, what it is that we're going to do from a program standpoint. Hey, Coach, I just want to touch on with the renovations and everything, you guys had a really challenging – you know, preseason getting to this point, only got on the field just a you know week or two ago. You know, going through everything, the year leading up to it, the challenge you faced. How happy are you going to be when first pitch gets here and it's just about coaching and about baseball? Oh, you, you, I mean, it, there's there's nothing better than that, right? But it's also one of those things as you start to get yourself into a program like this, as a head coach, you become a CEO in essence, right? The, you, you get away from the coaching part. Unfortunately, you don't get to do as much of it as you'd like. Um, but uh, knowing that, like you said, come Friday, first pitch, it's about the game. It's about doing those things. There's, there's no doubt about it. And, and being able to hire a great coaching staff um, and having people around that can, that can assist with that, that has also been helpful with all the things that you have to manage when you come into a new situation. Um, it's, it's been pretty good. But, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that play ball come Friday at 2 o'clock.